I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did you My parents here? brought me here. My father... I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Medigel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban.
Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? I don't know. It may sound strange, but I simply felt... <laughs> Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. I'm glad I could help. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. 
I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorban, he's threatened you? Well, no. Uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorban will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But... I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. 
Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Well, good luck. Hello, Commander. Sec, hooking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? 
Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm surprised that you're willing to kill your own, Rex. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance. Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance.
Normandy combines the best of Alliance technology and Turian engineering. It shows what we're capable of if we work together. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man. 
and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. One believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the intruders to be spread.
In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage.